We're going to jump right into lesson 14, equivalent fractions, and I wanted to show you an example of one. Uh, one half is equal to two fourths, but sometimes when we're first starting to learn this, that might look a little strange to you. You might be wondering, how do I know those are equal? So instead of just looking at the fractions, the numbers, I want to use a lot of models to help explain this. So if I'm shading in one half, it's going to look like this. Okay, and if I'm shading in two fourths, I made four pieces total, and I'm going to shade in two of the pieces. Okay, so now just ask yourself, is that the same amount of, let's say those are cookies, is that the same amount of cookie you'd be eating? Yes, so that's how you tell if a fraction is equivalent. Always think about the beginning of equivalent sounds like equal, and that can help you remember that they just mean it's an equal amount of the whole. Let's see if we can find another fraction equivalent to one half by using this delicious looking pizza that I just made. So I am first going to cut it in half just to show what one half would look like. Okay, so there's, let's say I ate one half of the pizza. Now to find a good equivalent fraction, I can always just slice this up a little more. So I might start by slicing all the way through that way. Now I have fourths, which we just talked about, but I could slice it up even more, even smaller pieces. Well, I'm gonna slice it up into, how many pieces did I slice it up into? What fraction is that making? Good, it's making eighths. So now let's just count how many slices are equivalent to the amount that I ate. One, two, three, four. So that is four eighths. It's the same as one half. I also want to show you some cool patterns that you'll notice. Let's say you don't always feel like drawing a picture. Well, it's okay to also use patterns with equivalent fractions. So watch this. I always ask myself, how how could I get from one to two and from two to four by using an operation? All right, you might have been thinking plus one up here, but then plus one wouldn't work down here. So the only thing that would work is times two. And then what is two times two? Oh, yay, it's four. So that works, that pattern works. And all equivalent fractions have patterns in the numerator and the denominator. Let's try it with this one. One times what equals four? Oh, good, times four. Let's test it out on the denominator. Let's see if this really works every time. What is two times four? Eight, yay, so it works. As long as you're doing the same problem on the top and the bottom, numerator and denominator, then you've got a good equivalent fraction pattern. So that's awesome. Okay, now let's try it with a fraction that's not one half. Let's try one third this time. So I decided to draw a strip diagram this time or a fraction strip, and I'll go ahead and shade in one third and I want to try to find a fraction that's equivalent to one-third. One of the easiest ways to do that is to just cut up the picture um, into more pieces. So if I cut up this piece into two pieces, and this one, and this one, watch this, I'll just go straight across, then what? how many pieces do I have? What denominator do you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, I've got sixth. Okay, so now how many pieces are shaded? Good, two. So let's just double check because I know sometimes with pictures we might be 
kind of worried if we're correct or not. So let's check with a pattern just to see if it works. So one times what equals two? Oh, good, two. And so let's try the same thing to the bottom. Three times two is six. So that worked. The pattern works, the picture works. Perfect. Okay, so let's try some new problems where there's a mystery numerator in these two fractions, but we know they're equal to one third. So if we can find the pattern in the denominator, then I think we're gonna be okay. So let's see, three times what equals nine? Three times three. So let's do that to the numerator. What is one times three? Yay, it's three, so that means one-third is equivalent to three-ninths. Let's try it down here. Three times what equals 12? Oh good, it's four, so we're gonna do the same thing to the top number. What is one times four? Four, good job. One-third is equivalent to four-twelfths.